I've been trying to get them to, to work this out. Nobody, they can't. They just say, pay your bill, pay your bill. So who, who do I need to talk to to settle this matter? $500 in less than a year is too much for power bill. April to kind of give you about well, I got most of the documents and I can show you. Okay. Okay. You, you know, can... if you want to look back from 2018 to 2020, my power bill was straight across. 2021 come in, it jumped up. When I heard in 2021 that GPA needed $30 million, that's when it started going up. It, it doesn't work like that, really. But, but uh, I tell you so what, you explain to me why, why five hundred dollars in less than a year? I when I was using the same power over and over again, nothing has changed. Uh, all I can tell you is, I've been just looking at this real briefly. I'm going to ask the gentleman to explain for a minute in a minute. But usually, meters are working. Either will capture what your consumption is, and that's what we go on. Okay. What the meter captures. Well, I just so, invested in something here just about sure. a couple weeks ago. Sure. It's called Ampura, it's the what? metering device for, for your power usage. This is real time. You want to look at it right now? Here. That's my real time using my power in my house. Okay. okay. I, I, Can I, you I, tell me how much kilowatts I'm using? Uh, I. I we, we, we're not going to debate with you what, what you have, the evidence you have, because we don't really know what that is. However, let me ask the general manager to kind of respond a little bit, and usually what we'll do is we'll work on this again. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, first of all, I think there has been a lot of effort and a lot of uh, reports that are prepared in, in this issue. And in fact, uh, it has already been brought before the uh, PUC. Uh, and my understanding is that uh, it was referred back to us because I guess uh, uh, it was not uh, brought to, to the attention of the CCU. So uh, again, uh, as we all can tell, uh, we have the we have a lot of the uh, graphs here tonight that show that the LIAC has substantially improved. Uh, it went as low as eight cents per kilowatt hour. Mm -hmm. And now, and and then went to twenty cents per kilowatt hour this past April, no? Okay. So that that in itself is already uh, eight times two is sixteen. That's already a hundred and fifty percent increase just in the LIAC. Okay. So now again we're increasing it. So there are some, you know, there's some correlation with that, and they've tested the meters from my understanding and a lot of things. So. Uh, Mr. Hitton, can I ask you, have you put in any new air conditioning recently? It's the same thing every, every, here that I put on. I installed an air conditioner last year in okay. March. So okay. you, 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 did you replace an existing air conditioner? No. So you added an air conditioner? I added one. Okay. So I, I'm just trying to ask, ascertain. You, you said nothing's changed, but obviously... Just one air conditioner, that's okay. it. Okay. So something changed. One air conditioner changed. Yeah. Um, the, the price of the LIAC has gone up substantially in this past year. Okay, well, let me ask you, well, how come the LIAC is more than the power that we're paying? Oh, because there are two components to our power bill. I understand there's two components. There's the base rate and there's the LIAC. Okay, the, the base LIAC rate is, is cheaper than the LIAC. Yes, because, because the LIAC is the price of oil. Just like when you go to gas your car, you, the gas that the price of the gas that you're buying right now, let me just explain, is higher than it was a year ago. But the price of your car, the, when you bought the car, probably hasn't gone up that much. Okay, the price, the oil that you're using now, did you yes. buy it yesterday? No, we buy it okay, every month. Okay, a long time ago, right? No, no, no. Every month we get a shipment. Well, every, shipment. every about every 30, 40 days we get okay. a shipment. Well, like I said, like I said why, is, why is so much the power is less than the LIAC? Right the, now the, my power is $152, the LIAC is 400 Yes, yes. yes. Yeah. Same thing with my bill. Huh? It's the That's same thing with my bill. Yeah. The, the base rate is low. We have not changed the base rate since 2013. Okay. The other okay? question I ask, why are you charging us another hundred some dollars on, on the LEA Act? Because when you buy a barrel of oil, mm -hmm. you're supposed to subtract. I, you don't subtract on that thing. You I, add, keep adding. The, 
percent, percent, percent up. Interest. That's why the power bill is so high. Per space. No. Because when you buy the, the oil, uh, the space. barrel of oil, you consume some. Next space. You don't have to pay for that that you consume. Oh, no, but you, you start to. all over with the LIAC. You start, over, start paying over it again. No. When we buy a shipment of oil, we have to pay for that whole shipment of oil. We maintain, uh, John, I think a 60 day supply of oil at all times, John? Yeah, we only have like 60 to 90 days, sometimes oh. down 45. So it's like every month, every month and a half, we so have to buy oil. what is the price of, well, let me, of, of let the me, thing uh, right now? Let me for, show for you. The, for, for the power. Yeah. Okay, he's going Take to show you here. in a minute. Take a look here. 2020, that's your LIAC, no? Okay, it went down that low. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the price of oil, $30 yeah. a barrel. Okay. okay. Just January this year, it went to $79 a barrel. Just within the past four months, take a look. Look how it's almost 90, up, straight up, it's $127 a barrel now. So that's what's causing the adjustment. And we buy and, oil. And more than that, before that LIAC was going up. No, well, anyway, we're just, uh, no, no, we're just trying to. My, my question, why? Wait, we're just trying to explain to you that this is the LIA component, no? That, uh, that, that's why you, you add your question is why is it 100 here and why is it 400? That's the reason why, no? No, I'm asking the reason why. How much, why is my power so, so high in a year, in less than a year, $500? Right there. When it's supposed to only go, what, $40, $50 a month more? Right there. The LIAC portion, yeah. sir, is the price is tied to the price of fuel. And what we're trying to explain to you is the cost of fuel last year is significantly lower than the cost of fuel now. That's why the price, your LIAC portion of your bill, is significantly higher. Well, I understand that. That's just, just this year. This is a while back. I've been fighting this for a year right now. Well, you, you're going to fight it every time there's a fluctuation, sir. If you look at My the graph. My power bill was going up before all that stuff went up. Okay. The, the LIAC portion of your bill will follow the price of oil. And so the fluctuations that you see here, you could expect to see on your bill. You know, Guam is, is saying, saying something, we can't have affordable housing. How can we have affordable power with the power? How can people pay for this power right now? Yeah. They can't afford it. Yeah. Well, huh? you guys are getting raised over this stuff. No, I'm not getting I, 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 I heard there's a raise going on here right now. There is a raise. Yeah, and you, and you normal, guys go to this the, situation the where the people amount. are hurting that they can't afford the power bill. Have you have you really looked at how many people can't afford the power bill? There's thousands. I'm, you know why I'm they're paying sure. the power bill? Because the government is helping them. The government they don't need to pay for the power bill. Well. This is the predicament we find ourselves in. The base rate is what pays for the labor cost of GPA. That has not gone up one penny okay. in, since 2013. The only difference is the gas. It's like you have a car, you gas your car. That's the only difference. Okay. Everyone well, let, well, let, let, let me start all over then. Sure. When CCU was created, yes. what was the purpose for it? It was to help the utilities better operate and be more efficient, which, which it has done. Well, you, you, it's, it's helping it right now, but people can't afford the power bill? It's not, okay, so let me flip this around to you on the other side. No, let's, let's, say, let's, say, let's say we don't want to pay that much for the oil. We can't bring the oil in. Well, guess what? Then the generators stop running, like your car. If you don't gas it, you don't go. So if we don't bring the oil in, we don't pay what we have to pay to get the oil in, then, the generators stop running, so we will have load shedding. So everybody around this table, Mr. Hitton, doesn't want to increase your bill at all. Not one penny. I don't want to increase your bill. I don't want to increase my bill. The, the problem I have is that I either have to pay, like you pay for you when you gas your car, or you don't use your car. If we don't pay for oil, we will have no power. Okay, yeah, I understand that, but the CCU was created because before then we were having power outages. Yes. 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 Now we're still having to have power on us. We can't afford the power. We, sir, we have not had an island-wide outage since 2013. I just that, they're, 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 no, no, no. For a little island-wide. I'm saying the whole well, island. Yeah. Island island. Okay. In, we have not had an island-wide outage since 2013. We've had these small interruptions. We've had those interruptions because we're changing our generation. We've been trying to do this. In 2015, we started, we actually got the first approval to start the new Okadu plant. We've had so many people that have been pushing back on us, pushing back on us. 
If we have that Okudu plant today, your power bill would be lower. If we have the, the solar farms that we wanted, your power bill would be lower. But everybody pushed back on us. They don't want us to do what we know is best. That was the purpose for the PUs and CCU from the beginning, to help the people with the power. Where are they helping you out right now when it costs so much for the power? Because your power is on. It's, it's on. It's, yeah, my power you don't is have, on. That's right. You don't have the six hour load Where is setting. all that money going to? Where's the, where the, to, what the CCU is collecting? No, to pay the power bill, to pay the oil, the, the base rate, the labor cost, the cost for the guys on the bucket trucks, that is all covered by the base rate. That has not changed one penny. It's only the price of oil. That's the, price the only of oil thing. Oil just changed in 2021 yeah, drastically. I mean, it's, like I said, it's been going it, up. It, it doesn't make sense for, 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 for somebody to pay $500 in less than a year in power bill when I'm using the same power all the time. Okay. Well, what we just showed you, sir, is the reason why your power bill went so high. Okay, it's you know the LIAC, what? and in one year, you can see the jump in the LIAC very plainly on the graph. That well, is I the difference. I understand that. The LIAC. How much is the LIAC compared from the regular power bill? It's, sig much? it's significantly more right now. Well, okay, right how now, much is it? Tell me. It's 20 cents a kilowatt hour. 20 right cents a kilowatt. Let me show you how much kilowatt it uses on this one right it's, now. Uh, the actual use, one right? Okay. Probably eight, nine dollars for the whole day. How, how do you know that? How many kilowatts did you consume? Well, let me show you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And that's real time. Your, your kilowatt hours are much more than that. Your usage in May was 369. Oh, yeah, 369 what, kilowatts? Well, or, uh, I don't, uh, how, uh, how are you getting that information? Because I don't know that. Directly from my panel box. Mm -hmm. from Not the from the meter. Okay. Uh, directly from the panel box. Mr. I, Chair. That's why I said it's real time. I, I don't Mr. Know, Chair, may, I, may I recommend that perhaps uh, uh, he brings in this consultant or somebody so then we can again try to have a discussion. But we have been going through this and my team has personally taken this for some time to try and work have it out. You okay, I see yeah, we had, we actually, no, 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 what's going on. No, no. 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 I see already that's not important. John, actually, have John to discuss yeah. this matter. Okay, just a minute. Yes. John, Frank, just a minute. Uh, John, have you sent your people out to mop, to check his panel box and yes, everything? Everything, Mr. Sir. No, they can't. They're what not supposed you? to. Why aren't they not? Don't you want them to check it? You guys, I don't know. You, you guys. Well, don't you tell me I can't. But when they no, no, asked no. me to, to put the analog in there, Mr. I let them go in there. When I asked them to come check my power, no, we cannot come to your power. Mr. Chair, the okay. manager here can attest what we have done. In the last so we did place an entry locker, so we mm -hmm. um, the second locker was placed there for one month. The findings from the locker and its consumption were, were in line. What, what is this consumption on a daily basis? Um, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on this table, it right, shows a consumption. <sighs> Power consumption. So is power consumption is forty six. So it, the most 46. recent one from January twenty. If you want to look back there to 2019, 2019, 2020, you tell me. I. That's what, your power point. In two thousand twenty one, it went up. Yes, we know that because of the price of oil, Mr. Hitton. I understand the price of oil. Okay. So look to it. Tell me. But Mr. Hitton, your your consumption also went up. Two thousand twenty two. Six hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. I, I, because this. Oh, okay. That, that that's down. Okay. What is that? Two thousand twenty-one. Five hundred dollars. And Mr. Hitton, it's right there. Look at your consumption. I understand that. Okay. I'm, I'm, well, yeah. if you consume more, you're going to pay more. But look at there. Look at how much kilowatts I've been using, from fifty sub to, to up to ninety kilowatts. No, no. And not not even doing nothing to my house. No, no, no. Well, you did. You added a. You added an air conditioner. Yeah, okay. air conditioner. Okay. Right now, you can tell he's not pulling that your, much. Your power. consumption for the month was almost a thousand kilowatt hours. Nine hundred twenty-eight point zero one zero four kilowatt hours. That's for the whole month. I think that's. You tell me. That's that's real time right now. How much kilowatts are using my house? I have to go with this because I don't know what this is. 
I, is I, I real time right now. This I, is what's I, coming out of my power right now. That's what you're you're saying is coming out of your power, but I don't what, know what, what's coming I'm out of there's coming into your meter. I'm not an engineer. All I can do is look at what this says. This is the this I know is what your that consumption. Said. This is your consumption. Okay, this is real time. Kilowatt hours, what you? It, okay. it, sir, doesn't matter whether you look at real time or your uh, your past consumption. What you can see here, year over year, is your your consumption has gone up over 900 kilowatt hours. That's so why you're I'm consuming saying, more how power. did I get 900 kilowatt you hours when I haven't done nothing on to You tomorrow. added an air conditioner. You said so yourself. I did. So that adds consumption. With that air conditioner right now, it's on right now. It's not using that much power. Ooh. Okay. I doubt it. Uh, they're not today. Not we, we, we're just power. going around and around in circles. I know we're so. going around and around in circles, but like I, I said, you but, know, but it's you tell me why did I get the $500 that I will pay for it. Explain to me well, how did I get so up that high, so besides the LIAC. So there's two things. The LIAC went up and you're consuming more power. That's why your bill is more expensive. That's what they're saying because that meter is saying I'm consuming that power. Yeah. This meter right here that not I got only. in here. I just got it a week ago, and you cannot tell me just a week's time that power, how much power I use. But sir, you can tell me weeks up to a year once once it's running all that time. But sir, they but right now it's just telling me weeks and days. But sir, they verified your consumption. Your meter was accurate by installing a logger as well. Two so percent. Two percent over over what the meter said, or what? It, it no, no, it does matter because the meter's out there. The logger's inside my house. Mm -hmm. It's not like this right here is logging every power that I use right now. The meter, that, that logger didn't, didn't do that. Because for each circuit on my house, I have a circuit there that tells me how much power I'm using. The logger verified that the meter is accurate. Oh, so this meter is lying right here that's very... Yeah, very we're we're not sure what yeah, I'm not sure where oh, you got sure what you have. It is, it's real time. It's coming from... No, I, I don't wherever you're getting that power from, it's the same place it's getting it from. Can't, so, I, can't, I can't verify that, sir, but what we what we can verify is that the GPA staff went out, put a logger on, and verified that your meter is reading exactly what the logger is reading. You want me to tell you how they checked my house? They walked in my house telling me how much appliance I got. Oh, did you insulate your house? Is your house tin? Is your house this now? How old is your house? How old is your... Is that the way to, 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 to monitor my stuff? Th that is a way this, to This to right determine. here is monitoring the power that I use right now. And you're not, you don't, you guys don't want to take it in as, as, as an evidence. This is proof right now. That's power use that I'm using. That, that's your version, sir. That, that, that's what you believe you're consuming. Oh, so I believe I, this, and, and you I don't know, I don't, for $500 I over know, this? No, I don't know what that is. How, what did you, when you say you got this a logger? Is a, this is a meter that you put on your power, with all of it. You so you, 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 put, you, put, you, you put a meter on your on your panel box, that's what you're this, saying? This can tell you, right now, he can tell you how much what? I'm using every, every minute to but, every hour. But what is that? What, what, what is that? You look at that, that's what I said. I don't know what I'm looking at. I, I don't know. And, and, you work, and, and, you, and you're up here? Sure, because I don't need, I'm not an engineer. I, I don't have to be an engineer. Well, you have to. You got to no, know what you're talking about. I know what I'm talking about. I yeah, don't you know, know what this know, is. You, you know the money part of it. This is telling you how much power I, I don't use know for what each this is. Even my house. Look at it. It's telling you. I, I don't. I don't doubt that it's telling you what what you're consuming as well. But how accurate it is compared to two verified portions of your bill, which is your meter and the data logger, which are specifically designed to capture this your consumption. This is what they're to show you. They tell, tell, they tell, this here tell you a lot of stuff. It can tell you if your price is pulling too much, what what price is going bad, and everything else. This this will tell you. Right now, it can tell you so that you, my, my, my total usage is 2,132. I don't know whether that's kilowatts or watts. Yeah. Usually it's kilowatts. What we measure. Okay, kilowatts. so what's 2,000 kilowatts in, in watts? In, 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 in terms of the power bill, it's high. Oh, it's big check out air conditioning. It, it, well, no, I'm it, going with what you said. Okay, you, this, if you have well, 2,000, I don't know if that 2,000 is huge. Or whatever. Okay, this is this is what it's saying right now. I'm 8.53 8 kilowatts an hour. This is what kilometers is. Okay. Zero so. four three one eight. Okay. Okay, and 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 what uh, the other one is showing is kilowatts an hour is. Point zero point one six seven. Wow, that's substantially high. Yeah. Eight kilowatts an hour times what? Eight 
24 hours is almost 200 you want, you kilowatt. Want, you want to put it no, down? sir. How much it cost me? I want. Uh, sir, no, 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 uh, no, 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 no. let me show you. You want to no. let us uh, try to answer you? You, you guys don't. Uh, no, no. You, you, you said you're yeah. using 8 kilowatt hours and, uh, per hour. My goodness. 8 kW per hour. Is that so what you're I, using? I suggest. That's what you're and I even put the, 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 the how much the power is right now at 30 cents. Mm -hmm. And it, it should tell you in dollars. Mr. Hitton, what uh, when did you install your your new uh, twenty four thousand BTU uh, air conditioner? It was in March last week. end of March. Yeah. Yeah. End of March. Yeah. Yeah. See, if you look at your consumption, it, it mimics exactly when you installed your your Times new 30. air conditioner. It went from four, fourteen hundred and thirty kilowatt hours, and then in uh, in the your billing period in April, it went to two thousand just from your installation of your air conditioner. Well, no, no, that's what I'm arguing about right now. I know you're that arguing is, about it, but it's how, not a coincidence. How, how, it's, it's not only a coincidence. BTU. It doesn't matter what. Yes, it does matter. Oh, you, you're right. If it's a it larger, if, if it's a larger air conditioner, it's going to no, draw okay. more power. And, how and it's, it's, it's it? almost three times larger yeah, than the air conditioner that, that you had prior. Right now. It's almost three times uh, larger. You want to know how much that air conditioner? Uh, I, I can't tell you how much that air conditioner because I didn't. Buy, I need to buy another model for that. You had a nine thousand BTU air conditioner prior can, to that, I, right? I, I can tell you how much the nine thousand is using right now. But just, just to and answer... 9,000 right there is a bedroom air conditioner, 0 0.213 at 12 percent. But prior to that, you just had the 9,000 BTU air conditioner, right? No, 9,000 has been in there for a long time. Right. So right you, you installed you a 24,000... I understand. But you installed a 24,000 BTU air conditioner and your power, your consumption goes up. It's not a coincidence. It happens at the exact same time. It's not going to go up $500. The, the, the five hundred dollars is it, so it's your consumption increase in oh, addition to the LIAC increase. increase. So you yeah, you're consuming like more well, and sure and the fuel price. I understand the LIAC, but I can't understand five hundred dollars just in a year. If you want to pull the graph up again, you can show Mr. Hitton where where the power was a year ago and where well, it is well, now. Well, this graph is doing the real time is telling me yeah. it's two different things. No. We're, we're going to show you the graph again so you can see how much the LIAC has gone up. Once oh, again. But, oh, yeah. but it went up significantly, sir. $500? Yes. Look at, look at how much the fuel it costs is, uh, the cost of fuel. Uh, like I said, I don't have, to me, like it was just a waste of time. Everybody that I went to, they don't have no action. The only answer is, hey, you're here. So the problem is with this, they nobody covers. Oh, yeah. Nobody likes looks at them. The the, the people. So that gives you the legal to do whatever you want to do to the people, and they don't have to see something. But there's somebody that has to to people in Guam because you are actually working for the people in Guam. You're working for somebody else. Okay. How many people have you guys looked into that has power built that high? There's a lot of them. I'm the only one complaining here because you know why? They took food away from my table. I'm on a fixed income. And this is how you want to treat your people like what? It's, it's, it's on a fixed income? It's not what no. we want to do. It's what we all, we have to pay our costs. If you don't pay the cost, how do you So why don't you guys do your job, like you said, in, in 1993 or 94, when you started this, to help the people better the economy more? You didn't have a thing. It, we got rid of the six-hour load shedding. Well, we basically get back on there. We huh? got, get out, got, got away with that, but we got higher lower prices. Well, because oh, no. because because we had the load shedding oh, because yeah. they weren't investing in the company. Well, they weren't doing it? what they needed to do. So you know that that's the hard part. And and we are do and we are making decisions to lower the power bill. It's coming. No, the no, new no, power no, plant. No, right now is not the time to lower the power bill to, to raise up the power bill because people are struggling. I know. They can't even pay them. The they're, the they're, the alternative the alternative is why to. Is, why did you guys pick the right time to raise the power bill? We we don't people are struggling. We don't determine the cost of fuel, sir. We don't determine that. That's, that's determined by the world market. So if the fuel goes up, it's beyond our control. Just like when you, you know, go to the gas station. You know, I heard this from, from the last PEC meeting. There's money coming in from GPA from other sources. Like what? And you cannot use it the way he said Because I was there. We cannot use that to pay for the power. That's for something else. So that's why I said somebody needs to look over this agency. 
to find out where all these money is going to. Because for the infrastructure since 90 something to around 15 years, there's no infrastructure involved on it. Oh, yeah. oh, we disagree with you on that. There's several. Well, show you on infrastructure. There's there's several solar plants that we can show you around the the island. Since there's one in the. Three are supposed to be infrastructure involved. Where is it at? Where where is the infrastructure? It just happened what, a couple a year and a half ago. Uh, uh, JB one no, has done done been been up and running. Since 1993, sir. And we and had the load okay. shedding. Yeah. We since, put since in 2000. And, so seven since years that, ago. That, that that solar panel was up. How much did it help us in our power bill? It's beginning How much? to. How much did it help us? It went up. It didn't go down. The oil went up. We're talking power. It's supposed to. The solar panel is supposed to help us out. It, right. it is. Where, where did it help? It's just starting. It's just starting. Well, you it's, said you guys just said it's been gone for a long time. No. For seven years it has been. Yes. Okay, so where is it? You've seen it. You've seen it over the past uh, seven years. Well, yes, you have. Your power bill was lower at one point in time, wasn't it? I don't know. Yeah, yes, it was, yeah. and that's and that's consistent and that's consistent and that's consistent with the cost of fuel. That's your, your power bill will go up and down consistent with the cost of fuel. The power bill went really low in that one part. Where is all these money going to? Well, somebody has to overlook over you guys. We we get audited. We're audited. The OPA by the Office of Public Accountants did. They they audit us. We have an audit every year. Okay. Well, they know yeah, where. I they go check into that. Yeah. No. Ask that. for a copy of the audit. Well, we, I, I we should check be able. That. Like I said. Yeah. There's a lot of money that's being spent on the, this 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 administration, the previous administration, for infrastructure, and it has not done nothing. Well, we would disagree. So where's that money going? We would disagree. Well, we would disagree. We're with paying it. for everything right now. Yeah. The we all are. are Even the to people. Pay for what's going to keep going? Yeah. Everybody. We're all paying for that. Well, you can't think it because you're making enough money that, that you can pay your power bill. How about the people that can't? It's, it's not a question of... No, that. it is it's a question. question of we all have Who to Who are pay. you working for? The people or for the other people? Well, I work for the people of Guam, but I, okay. also, but I also have my own businesses. Well, like I said, it doesn't and, show and that you're working because the people of Guam are struggling. I, the people of Guam, we have a low-tech low economy. The people of Guam are struggling. You're right. But but we can't just change that. We can't just also. This say, is the right time to raise up the land. No, it's not the right time. It's the only more, thing we three, can do. In less than a year, three or four times. Yes, because the price and of oil. And supposed to go every three months. Okay. Yeah. Well, we, we and, and, it, and it's consistent with the cost of fuel. fuel. Once again, yeah. Yeah. the cost of fuel you is not something we can we can like control. Don't give me the sense. I'm not giving no, you a song. I'm giving you the reality. That is the self speech that you guys are trying to tell me. That is the reality of it. Sir. Reality that is the reality. Self it's no self. That's what you guys use. Is that. That's what you use. You use that as an excuse. It's no, not an excuse. excuse. It is an excuse. Every time you it, go to the cost. gas station, it's your an gas bill has cost. gone up. When you go to the gas station, the price of your gallon of gas has gone up. It's gone down, it's gone up. Every three months, you're supposed to raise the yeah. In less than a year, it went up three times. It's cost of fuel, sir. Cost okay. of fuel. Yeah. What does so, the law say? Once cost again, it's, you see, you see, you see that graph. I'm sorry. You see how often the cost of fuel went up? It's mandated. Mandated is coming to dictate. That's where it's coming to dictation. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay. I will, I will, I will talk on the radio about this stuff. Sure. Sure. People need to know. Oh. Okay. Where are we? Yeah. Yeah. It, it then it depends on the the rating of the case. Yes. Yeah. Okay. 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 So John, uh, you're up, John. All right. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, first item for tonight is uh, resolution. Uh, FY 2022-21. Uh, as, as I had shown in the work session, Mr. Chair, I can do that again. However, if I may just go through the resolution first and then see if there's any other explanations that uh, you may want me to present. No, 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 John, I think, you know what? I think everybody's gotten the yeah. review of this. Uh, what would be helpful for us is if uh, I had asked John Kim if he could make sample bills. Yes, I think just, it's here. Mr. Yeah, yeah. No, put it up so that we can see. You know, just just so that we know 
what we're talking about. What what page is that in board books, John? Is this a, is that loaded? Is that loaded on your board books? No. Okay. It's on the so resolution. Look card. It's in the resolution. Okay. Okay. So, John Kim, yes. explain to us what you're looking at when the price goes up. What what we're looking at in terms of what the people are going to pay in their bill. So what, we, so what we did was we broke it down to three increments. Yeah. So first we increment, we said we'll do it on July 1st. So we were looking at going from 20.9 cents to 24 cents. Okay. And the second half uh, going in effective September 1st, and it will be going from 24 cents to 27 cents. Yeah. And the third increment will be effective November 1st. We'll be going from 27 cents to 29.6 cents. Okay. With this, we will have under recovery of $25 million by January 31st. Uh, currently, we, are, we have approximately effective uh, April 30th, we have about $31.8 million under recovery. And we expect that to go up uh, next month this okay. month and the next month. So when we look at the first increment, we're looking about 14.7% um, about increase in LIAC, which is about close to 10% in overall bill increase. Okay, in John, can you give that in, to us in dollars? Oh, Tell yes. us, say, if, if you go from where you're at right now, which is the 20.9 yes. cents, right? Yes. So 24.0413, Yes. What does that change in terms of the amount of dollars? Yes. For average consumers, which is about 1,000 kilowatt hours, yes. we're looking at about $30.89 increase. Okay. Yeah. On this, on the second increment, uh, we're looking about uh, $29.77 increase. And on the third increment, we're looking about $26.09 increase. Okay. Okay. Uh, so again, the, it's a three-step increase uh, beginning well, at July You're proposing first. a three-step increase. Yeah. The PUC doesn't have this on their on their agenda for this coming meeting. In That's May correct. Because usually they make their adjustment in June. In June. Uh, July. Yeah, July rather, because that's when the the it starts with August first, right, John Kim? Yes. The the normally, yes, it's normally August starts 1st. with August first. You're giving them some things to think about. Right. You're giving them the data. That's the way this works. We give the PUC the data, and then you give them more data. And when they get close to their meeting, normally, like in July, that's when you give them the latest data again. And that will shave or increase. It'll either increase or lower what your recommendation was based on the, late, the latest numbers. That's correct, and we're recommending actually that they start in July 1st, not June 1st, but July 1st instead of August 1st. Yes. So that you can step it in in the more... Uh, yeah, and I'm, I'm just, yeah. I just so everybody understands, I'm yeah. just pointing out that it's up to the PUC. You can recommend, we can recommend all we want. They're That's going to make a decision that they want to do. So they may start on August 1st. What yeah. that's going to do is it's going to make the increase a, a larger increase because that they, they, they we've already lost some more money. Okay? So but I understand, John. What, what, what I wanted to point out is okay. it's really up to the PUC. It, it just means that your, your losses are going to increase even more and you're going to have to, uh, you know, the, the increase is going to be a, a lot higher than going from 20 to 24. It might go from 20 straight to 27 on August 1st. That's correct. That's yeah. sure. and the but, but that's the call of the PUC. That's, we're that's we're, we're going to give them the numbers and give them the best thoughts that we can. But we, we are not the deciding factor in this one. It's theirs. We simply provide them the evidence. Okay? And make a recommendation. We, that's all. Yes, and we make a recommendation. Nobody around this table wants to increase anybody's power bill. Nobody. I don't want to increase anybody's power bill. But at the end of the day, to keep the power running, you need to pay for the oil. 
we haven't increased the base rate. I keep pointing that out to people. We have not touched that. Okay? So we're living within our means there. The problem is the fuel. Any questions, commissioners? No questions, uh, Mr. Chair. It's obvious the, um, that the LIAC uh, um, needs to be raised due to the cost of fuel. Um, it's unfortunate at this time to do it, but um, uh, the alternative is not having the cash flow to pay for fuel and uh, the effects on the operations of the utility. Yeah, correct. So we can make a motion to uh, take I'll make the motion to approve the general yes, manager's recommendation. Okay. Is there a second? Second, Commissioner Martinez. Any further discussion? Yeah, sure. Mr. Chair, I just want to follow up on the uh, working session uh, request to to see and uh, to um, reach out to the administration and find out if there were any uh, funds that could be used to help um, us avoid raising the uh, the LIAC um, as proposed. This this correct. Uh, I'm sorry. This correct, uh, Commissioner. I did uh, send a letter to the governor, including the packages, the presentation, and everything. So I anticipate that you know she will want to discuss this. Uh, when did you send that out? I think yesterday. Okay. So yeah. So I need to give time to yeah. absorb well, and then you know, the way this discussion. works, and, yeah. and it happened once before. Mm -hmm. Is we we're giving them the data, we're giving them the evidence. It's going to the PUC. The governor came through and helped the ratepayers. It didn't help GPA, helped the ratepayers by uh, advancing some money. To the Leo, Helped yeah. us to hold the rate increase down. So that's the way it works. It's not help, it's not subsidy to GPA, it's subsidy to the ratepayers for them to, to pay, okay, to help them. So I'm glad you sent the letter. You know, it's gonna take her time. We're not the only, we're not at the top of her agenda, but I'm sure this governor is gonna give us some serious thought and what I'm saying is, when we move this forward, it's, it doesn't mean that this is exactly how it's going to be, because the PUC will still work on it. We never know what the, our governor might want to do. That's correct. You know, she has done in the past yes, something to take care of the ratepayers. She provided 15 and she million. Might, she and might be so able to do it again this similarly, time. Similarly, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it could be done again and again. Commissioner, talk so we'll have, uh, I anticipate we'll have some discussions and we'll see if any okay. anything could come up. All Commissioner Chapo. Yeah, Mr. Chair, I just want to recognize the utility and this commission for utilizing what funds were available to help defer past LIAC yes. increases, which were the use of the self-insurance funds, the um, uh, the uh, of course uh, acknowledging the administration for their support and helping defer uh, an additional LIAC increase by sub by providing 15 million dollars of funds to help uh, avoid that LIAC, um, barring any other you know assistance, um, the utility needs to generate the cash flow needed to purchase additional fuel to keep the lights on. So that's that's in a nutshell. That's what it is. Correct. Okay, if we have no further discussion, ready for the question? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay, motion carried. John, what else do you have? Uh, or are you done? That, that's, that's it, Mr. Chair. I think uh, it covered uh, most in the work session and everything. Uh, no special, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, John. Okay, Miguel, you're up. Nope. I have none. Sure. Why don't you identify the resolution you want to deal with? Which one? Uh, resolution 19 FY 2022. Okay. This is transfer from the rate stabilization fund, correct? That's correct. Okay. Do you want to take it from? And we went through this on our work session. Uh, Keep going. Page 170 is actually 160, 166. 
is the resolution itself, I believe. Um, or no, I'm wrong. It's just 18 FY 2022 or 17? 19. 19 is on uh, page uh, 169. <coughs> I have 171. Uh, the resolution. Oh yeah, I see. I, yeah. The 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 write up on yes. the resolution. I'm sorry. Okay. Are you ready? A resolution 19 FY 2022 um, is relative to increasing to adding additional transfers to the GWA rate stabilization fund. Uh, to assist with uh, debt service coverage. Uh, the resolution 06 FY 2022 uh, previously authorized the transfer of up to $2 million, of which $1.6 million has already been transferred. Given the uncertainty of the action uh, of the PC with regard to GWA's um, uh, a right. co comprehensive uh, review and update. We're asking that uh, we transfer an additional 3.3, uh, bringing the total uh, transfers, possible total transfers, out to 5.3 million, okay. and that 5.3 million aligns with the um, anticipated transfer that was proposed uh, in the comprehensive rate review and update. Okay. Any questions? Motion to second. Okay. Any further discussion? No, Mr. No. Okay. On the question, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries. Next, Miguel. If if we could uh, move sure, to resolution 20 FY 22 2022. Um, as you may recall, we are um, we we uh, gave the. Um, Sorry, the bank, the credit card uh, um, collections from uh, Bank of Hawaii to First Hawaiian. Yeah. Um, and so we need to set up a, a bank account with First Hawaiian so that we can deposit the funds from all the credit cards processed. Okay. And so this resolution gives us the authorization to set up the account in First Hawaiian. This is straightforward. Resolution, Okay, second. Further discussion? None. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimous. Okay. Thank okay. you. Next, Mr. Chair, we could go back to resolution 17 FY 2022. Okay. Uh, this is seeking the board's approval to create limited term appointments for uh, engineers to assist specifically on US EPA grant funded projects. Uh, as, as you might recall from the work session, we indicated um, we anticipate receiving an elevated amount of infrastructure fund, uh, grant funding from US EPA every year to for the next five years to coincide with the bipartisan infrastructure law um, that will increase the amount of um, projects, SRF grant funded projects, and uh, there is a provision that allows us uh, some, uh, some of those grant funds to be used to, uh, for um, personnel to assist in the administration and execution of those projects. We are seeking the creation of four uh, limited term appointments um, for a period of five years, which corresponds with the grant, the increased grant funding, mm -hmm. and then the potential for uh, two follow on years, uh, because each grant cycle allows uh, an additional two <laughs> years to, to execute all the projects that are funded in the first year. So okay. uh, we anticipate the cost for these positions to be about 2.124 million for the uh, five year term, <laughs> and then uh, if they are extended the two-year additional term would be uh, 849,000 so total uh, funding would be 2.974 million dollars for the four positions over the course of the seven-year period uh, if we use the, that two-year option um, we would uh, seek to acquire the engineers as, as soon as the funding becomes available and uh, it would end um, either on the five-year term or the, the seven years uh, if the two-year option is selected. And the funding source is entirely from US EPA grant funds. Okay. Any other questions? Motion to accept versus 17. Second. Second. Do you have any questions? Yeah. Um, Miguel, the, uh, the, um, 
right up on the uh, issues for decision uh, shows that it and uh, there's a statement that says GWA anticipates receiving an estimated 37 million so these LTAs are contingent on receiving these grants correct that's correct okay so they will only be added when you've confirmed and, and have been awarded these grants. That's correct. Okay. And we, we also, to clarify, um, are, are uh, asking that because these are entirely grant funded, they not be counted against our uh, FTE cap. Right. Just, just because for there's, the record. They're limited. Right. And then um, in, in the event that you don't receive uh, um, all that you had um, budgeted for it, you're going, but you do receive some funds, you're going to adjust the number of LTAs um, uh, contingent on whatever funding you do get? Right, correct. Th this is what we anticipate to be the maximum number of positions we would get for the for the funding. So okay. it can be, it, it could be less. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Go ahead, uh, Mr. Martinez. We're from the five-year period. All we needed is four. Yeah, just to, <laughs> just to augment our existing uh, staff, staff and uh, consultants that we also use. <coughs> How many staff do you currently have, Miguel? Just so that Commissioner Martinez. In, in engineering? Yeah. How many engineers you have? <laughs> Doing it the old way, fingers. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to say between 10 and 12, and I'm sorry I don't know that number uh, okay. off the top of my head. Okay. Okay, no problem. But I, I, I bring that up because you do have so many engine. You have only so many engineers, but they're working on a lot of different things. So, yeah. They are, sir. <coughs> <laughs> Okay. Okay. Any further questions? Ready for the question? All those in favor of the motion signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries four aye votes. Thank you, Mr. Next. Chair. Next is resolution 18 FY 2022. And this is seeking additional um, funding authorization for our liquid chlorine supply contract, uh, which is used for water production and treatment facilities island-wide. Uh, we, we are seeking authorization um, to increase the funding to ensure that we have an adequate supply over the next, uh, to finish out the, the current uh, year, year of the three-year uh, contract, uh, with, okay. and then also for the, the two additional option years. Uh, this is a requirement. The chlorination of, of our uh, drinking water is a requirement of the Safe Drinking Water Act and the 2011 court order. Um, currently, we anticipate um, before the three-year contract term ends, we will need uh, an additional 135, 130, 136 approximately thousand uh, dollars, and then for the additional two-year um, extensions of this uh, supply contract. We anticipate an estimated cost of 1.77 million, and we're seeking an, an additional 10% contingency of about 446,000. So the total increase in uh, funding authorization funding authorization would be about 2.3 million to bring the total funding authorization, if you approve the resolution, to 4.908 million. Um, the contract uh, will be uh, completed in September of 2024, uh, and these are expenses that will be coming out of revenue. So these are just your regular O&M expenses. Okay. A motion to accept resolution 18. Second. Second. Any further discussion? Yeah. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed nay. Motion carries four aye. Next. The last uh, resolution for decision tonight, Mr. Chair, is uh, number 21, FY 2022, and this is as discussed during the work session, uh, relative to requesting an amendment for a conservation and construction easement on lot 275, which is uh, in the vicinity of Seti Bay. Uh, as I mentioned, we previously issued a uh, conservation and construction easement to the military for them to uh, conduct a reforestation project as a mitigating measure to um, construction inside the harbor at Kilo Wharf and for the damage that was caused by that project. This is what the, the EPA or the government permitting authorities required as a mitigating step. The Navy has completed uh, the reforestation project but needs to maintain it for a couple more years so they're seeking an extension. Um, there is no cost to GWA and we anticipate that their work will be completed by uh, 2026. Okay. 
Okay. Any questions? Uh, motion, motion to approve. Motion to approve. Is there a second? Second. Second. Commissioner Martinez. No further discussion. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Motion carries with four aye votes. And what else do you have, Miguel? Nothing that is it. That's it. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Thank you very much. Motion to adjourn. So we're adjourned. Okay. No, quick and easy.